What's up guys? If you are wondering where is Tosa Kylie today, well, she's being too busy watching her new favorite show now. What? It's a very popular channel, you know, even PewDiePie loves it. In fact, she loves the show so much that she even asked me to build her a giant Coco Melon theater and make a tutorial for it. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the material list and get to the tutorial. Wait, why am I still the one getting smacked? Why are you are the one doing this episode? First, build a ring of green concrete with this dimension on the floor. After that, we increase the size of the ring by one block as we build it up and makes it three blocks high. Now, we are going to build a column of 12 blocks high. And build up the rain to the same height as the column we just built. Then, we start shrinking the rain by one block each time when it goes up and do it for three times. Then we enclose the entire top part of the coco melon. Here we are building the base of the antenna of 7 blocks in radius with pink concrete. Then you build a smaller second layer on top of it. And now we use purple concrete to build the antenna. There are one block left and right to the center. I don't know. 
Then we use light blue concrete to build the end of the antenna, which has the dimension of 3 by 3 by 2. We do the same thing for the other side, but this time it faces sideways. And then we finally draw the cute little face of the cocoa melon. We use white concrete to outline the edges first. Then fill up the entire face with pink concrete. And here we use grey concrete to draw its mouth, its nose and its eyes. And we draw its eyeball with white concrete. Not its eyeball actually, the reflection of the eyeball. Finally, we use lime concrete here to draw the light teachings on the melon skin. Lines are 5 blocks wide in the center part and 3 blocks wide for the top and the bottom part. The diagonal lines are a bit more tricky, so please be careful when doing that. Then we would repeat what we just did for every size. And here, don't cover any part of the face of the cocoa melon. And that's it for the exterior part. For the interior part, we first cover the bottom hole of the melon with any cheap material. I'm using sand here for the example. Then we fill up the walls with pink concrete, except for the one with a cocoa melon's face. Then we cover up the roof with green concrete. and cover up the floor with paint concrete. Then we build a lamp with sea lantern, lime concrete and plain glasses in the center of the roof. And here we fill up the edges and corners with green concrete, as well as adding these two sea lanterns. And we do the same thing for each sides and corners. And then we add three sea lanterns to each side and cover them up with oak trapdoors. 
Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life. Do it for each side, except for the one with the cocoa melon's face. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. Next, we build a second floor with green concrete, four blocks below the sea lanterns, and extend it five blocks out. And then we do the same for the left and right side. Following up, we built some audience seats by using green concrete and lime concrete. Then we add these quad stairs at each end and adding some heavyweight pressure plates for these seats and finally adding these black glass panes. Again, just do the same thing for the other two sides. Then for each corner, we start building these two sea lanterns on the floor and we build a ladder at each side connecting the ground floor and the second floor. And do the same thing for the other corner. Then we enclose the inner edge with black glass paint. Painting the floor with paint concrete. And now we start building the stage with green concrete, which is 11 blocks by 8 blocks, then fill the inner sides with sea lanterns and paint concrete. And then just build one block up like that. and cover up the sea lanterns with lime glasses. We will build three of them with pink glass panes, three blocks downward like that. Then connect a sea lantern and cover them with lime banners at each side. Then we build these stage stairs with smooth quads and smooth quad stairs and adding these two sea lanterns on the top. Also do the same thing for the other side. Then we build a left side and right side audience seats on the ground floor. They are nearly the same as those on the second floor except putting some extra parts on top of them. And again, do the same thing for the other side. For the back side audience seat, we build something similar, but this time we split it into left and right side. They are 5 blocks wide, but this time, they don't have those quad stairs.
here we paint the center part of the wall with green concrete, which is reserved for the exit. And here we start building the exit itself. We first build these two parts with lime concrete. And take this hole of four blocks in height all the way to the edge of the audience seat. Paint the sides of the wall with green concrete. And here cover the top of the entrance with lime glasses. And finally, build a stair with smooth quad stairs. Hmm, should I do a fan skate here? Uh, probably no, because Coco Melon welcomes everyone to watch. Last but not least, change the eyes to black glass blocks. And that's it for the interior part. Hey, I just finished the tutorial you asked for. Are you still watching that stupid thing? Yeah, you wanna join me? Nah, but I think I can bring you some nice friends. Just give me a second. A few moments later. Hey, come say hello to them. 